hi guys good morning look how it turned out what is this i didn't know i had this i think it's like from like my the thing that i put in here i don't even know how is it called anyways this is how i woke up not good um but yeah i'm about to go to starbucks to work for a little bit on my computer and i don't know i was thinking about trying a new gym but i don't think that i will be able to do that today because it's very rainy and i don't like to take my car outside that much when it rains a lot so and the gym is quiet like far away so i'm not sure if i'm gonna but i'm gonna try and go to that new gym one of these days just because i really want to meet new people and i feel like my gym like i already know everyone in there but everyone is kind of like an adult adult if you know what i mean i don't feel like an adult i feel like i'm still like 18 19 and i want to find people that are like about around the same age as me like 20 23 24 whatever and i feel like maybe i can find people in there because that gym is like more for like teenagers and stuff like that not really a teenager anymore but you know what i mean and my gym i love my gym like i freaking love my gym but it's full of just like adults grown-up adults um so yeah today it's supposed to be a very fun day because today is december 7th and if you are not from colombia you wouldn't know this but in colombia we celebrate something that is called candle day and we light up some candles and we have time with our family and we have like typical colombian holiday foods which i think we're gonna make today and i'm very excited to show you that my mom is gonna make a lot of i don't know how to make them so she's gonna be the one making them and i'm gonna of course show you that and i also have a back and biceps workout i've been loving my fuel workouts which is pretty good pretty cool pretty nice i always say that word in a weird way anyways i'm gonna go to starbucks i'm gonna take my memory card and this past few days all of them have been like super just like not good has been super i don't know like cloudy and rainy and i don't like that but what you gonna do it's okay we're gonna be grateful for that because it's helping someone the rain even if that's just the plants but it's it's helping someone so yeah let's go let's go work for a little bit guys remember when i asked you if you like more like me blogging and talking to the camera or me doing voiceovers i personally i like more um when i blog like this and talk to you guys through the camera because when I see my blogs from like two years ago, I am shocked about like how I feel and how I talk to the camera and like my confidence and stuff like that. And I just feel like I'm more connected with you guys when I talk like this to the camera. And when you do voiceover, it's more of like you're doing like a show for someone. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but in here, I just feel like I'm talking to my friend and I don't need to pretend anything and I don't need to edit it later and just make myself look happier or better afterwards you know i just feel more real and it just feels very good um this morning i had a slow morning doing a little work on instagram like doing little graphics i freaking love that it makes me so happy to be able to help with a little bit of my knowledge and i did one about metabolism this morning and then yesterday i did this one actually the mindset ones they are my favorite but they don't do too well on instagram um i feel like a lot of people just follow me for like the food and stuff like that but that's not really what i'm very passionate about i'm very passionate about like mental health and um learning more about our brain and how it works and i also love um having a passion for um fitness in general and fitness mind you fitness doesn't only have to be like lifting heavy weights and stuff fitness is all around moving your body in a way that feels good to you and feeling energized and happy and strong and that's how i feel and that's what i want to preach 
so yeah I'm just not going to care that much about what goes well or not and I'm just gonna do and share my knowledge and what makes me happy that's that's all I wanted to say hi guys today is Saturday and actually my mom moved the candle day for today so I'm very excited to do that my mom is gonna make like all the foods and everything and I we actually went to Walmart yesterday and I got some new PJs with like a stitch on it which is so cute I'm so excited but uh, right now I am craving something for lunch and I was gonna say this like I already said this on TikTok and on Instagram but I think that I'm gonna stop posting like what I eat in a day so I'm not really sure if in here in YouTube or just like on Instagram and TikTok and the reason why is because I have just been feeling super overwhelmed I'm like kind of like not good <laughs> when I read some comments of like I post a what I eat in a day and it's truly what I want and what I crave at the moment or what I have and I get a lot of judgment and it's just like you don't need this you don't need that you're relapsing your things like that and it just really makes me feel upset because I have this thing on my mind on my mind of like I'm a failure I don't do things well I don't do enough I I never do things right and then those comments make me feel even worse with myself it's just like, oh my God, I'm, I can't even do recovery right. Like what? I'm not doing enough. I'm, I'm not, I'm a failure. So stuff like that, I keep repeating it on my mind whenever I read those comments. And I don't think that's healthy for me anymore. So I'm probably just gonna share some of what I eat and like some meal ideas and stuff like that because I want to give you guys some inspiration. But I feel like I, it just comes to the point of like I really need to look for that approval that I um, want within myself and being like okay um, I can't eat out without needing to prove it to someone else I can't eat out I can't eat stuff different than normal just like Oreos and stuff like that without showing you um, guys all the time what I'm eating and I think that's something that I'm gonna be working on just like not taking a picture or a video of going out to eat or stuff like that because it feels like I'm chasing pleasing other people and it just doesn't feel right anymore for me gosh my neck hole is so yeah uh, we're gonna do that but for today actually we got a gift card for chick-fil-a because last time we went um, we got a sandwich and guys they didn't give us our fries sorry I'm playing with my hair I'm like trying to see how I can fix it a little bit because I am not that confident when I don't have straight hair so I'm working on that too mm, yeah so as long as I'm proud of myself as long as my family is proud of me as long as my therapist knows that I am doing my best I'm trying my best to keep myself accountable and be more um, here and within me and within my body and not in my brain as long as all of that is happening i don't need to constantly be proving on social media that i'm doing things right and i also told you guys on instagram how you can't really judge how someone else is doing based on what you see on social media because that's just what i want to show you if I don't want to show you one day that I go out with my family to have pizza or whatever, you wouldn't be able to see it. You know, this is what I choose to share with you guys because I feel like some of them can be very helpful for you. And I know in the past for me, it was helpful for me to see a girl getting over an eating disorder and like eating normally. She didn't even have to eat burgers or pizza every single day. She was just like falling in love with herself and with her body and with her life in general which is what i'm doing right now uh lately i the food thoughts have been like non-existent i really just want to work and create videos and like share with you guys and work like just i have just not been focusing that much on food um and just in living my life which is pretty good and i think like I have made a lot of progress with my mental health and that just makes me extremely happy and like comments like that just 
make me feel super upset and like a failure and I don't want to feel like that anymore but anyways so uh, today we have a fun day and actually I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-a because we have free stuff and I don't want to cook right now so we're gonna go and get the free stuff and um, that'll be fun that'll be very fun yeah let's let's go my mommy is making the natilla. See? Buñuelos. <laughs> she's making an appointment on the phone, but there she is. She's making the natilla today. <laughs> Chick fil A haul. Real um, wrap, buffalo sauce. Frosted coffee. She's so cute. Hi, Maggie. You're so cute. Hi, guys. I am at my mom's bathroom. Here's the outfit. Look at those PJs. They're so cute. Um, we bought them yesterday at Walmart. And you guys know that I love stage. So yeah, right now I'm actually procrastinating going downstairs because I'm trying a dance on TikTok. I'm not a dancer, but I'm trying. So yeah, let's see how that goes. I actually really want to get into dance, but here's the setup too, because like I suck at uh, finding tripods so we're gonna do it i'm gonna do it without glasses because you guys know that i'm more um like secure about myself when uh, secure like confident about myself but i've been i've been learning this dance for like days so we're gonna see how that goes I'm gonna with that I don't know I'm trying my best <laughs> but yeah we're gonna go downstairs to um, like light up the lights you know for candle day and um, oh my gosh okay so it's been hurting a little bit my leg but I just feel like when I distract myself with my family and stuff um, I just forget about the pain so we're gonna do that. We're gonna improvise and we're gonna tell ourselves like it's not hurting. And that way maybe it won't hurt as much if I just if I just pretend it's not so let's pretend the pain is not there. So just in case I'm doing blockmas on uh TikTok. I'm burping because I had like a snack super quick because my family was about to come and I didn't want to interrupt but okay let's go um I'm also wearing chick-fil-a sweater because my my brother if you didn't know my brother used to work at chick-fil-a so we have this sweater see merch uh chick-fil-a merch but let's let's go let's freaking go Stronger, you're gonna be freedom just like a waving flag. You fire. 